like slob. Today is topology lecture number 15. Uh, and it is the Euler characteristics of a projective plane. And, and we're not only going to do the project the plane itself, but we are also going to do the two gone version. So, so the equation of a projective plane, the regular one is just a b a b, as I said, and and the two gone one is a a. Both boring equations, I guess. So a b a b. Square. 
Right, so you don't need to know that if you already watched the video on the projector plane or anything else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, um, now let's uh, find the Euler characteristics, or represented by T. Hi is okay. equal to, okay, okay, I didn't write a G. This is not a G. Just a fancy X. So, uh, Kai. Chi is equal to um chi is equal to v minus e plus f. Okay. So uh, there is only uh, two uh, there is only two numbers being used. I don't know variables uh, for um vertices and uh, and uh, uh, numbers. And the vertices with that same number are practically the same point. So uh, the, the, uh, these numbers are practically uh, the only vertices. So these numbers, so yeah. There's only two vertices because these are practically the same points. Minus edges, um, the, the, I believe uh, this, uh, these edges uh, are like the, something like the same, and there's only like um, two variables used as, as um, an variable for an edge. So only, excuse me, two. And so two minus two plus uh, um, this. This one face, and and uh, I mean it. This square doesn't an actual. This projective plane doesn't actually have a face. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. two plus one is one, I guess. Yeah. Now let's move on to the oil characteristics with the um two gone. That is um the oval, the ellipse. I don't know what to call it. So uh. Anyways, remember these points? Uh, let's label them one actually. So this is actually the top of A, uh, but this is also a top of A, so we have to mark label. Uh, anyways, um, anyways, uh, now let's go to the Euler characteristics with um, the two gone. And um, the Euler char characteristics, so chi equals to V minus E plus F. So um, that is vertices, there's only a one there's only one number being used in the vertices, and remember, no. the same number means the same vertices or point. So there's practically only one vertice. Minus edges, there's only um, one letter used for edges, so only one, plus faces. This is, um, it's only had one face, you can see that, obviously. So one, one minus one plus one is one in any way. So, uh, uh, chi, fancy way of her uh, x, chi, omega, which looked like sort of y, and um, beta for boundary. Beta. Uh, so, chi, chi, we know both of them are one, I mean, they're obviously the same thing, so their Euler characteristics to be the same, right? So they're both one. Yeah. The, uh, the orientation represented by omega, you cannot go um, you cannot go around 
uh, uh, you can technically not go around a projected plane. I mean, you can go around, but then you'll end on an inverted on yourself, and then you'll fall a handstand and go, no. So, one comma, one comma, one. One actually means that, um, there is no boundary. Zero, I mean, no orientation. Zero means that there is orientation for um, this omega. I'm tired of saying the word orientation. I don't want to say it anymore. And beta would stand for boundary. There is no boundary. So uh, we put zero, which you would expect, right? Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe to Barry Science Lab for more videos. And um, uh, buy my book. I think it's out on Am Amazon now. And it's not only in America. It's in France too. Yeah.